Once again, what's good? What's good, Morris? Back again, back again, my fellow collector. Trying to do another unboxing on the two. Right <laughs> on, man. Can't wait to see what you got for us tonight. How you been, though? Uh, good, man. Just maintaining and, you know, um, living life. Right Enjoying uh, these unboxings that me and you have been doing because, you know, this quarantine thing, you're not really going out anywhere. Like, you know, all I'm doing is home, work, home, work, home, work. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know, it ain't really you know really anything else to do right now. And so, um, you know, I, I got figured, man, that I've been sitting on until, so like, wow. this was the time. You know what I mean? Like, That's right. <laughs> That's right. So this was that time where, like, one day I'm going to unbox these and, you know, I'm going to enjoy them because of whatever's going on, you know? And, right. and I guess what's going on today is, perfect for these unboxings, you know, so, well, you know, man. this one particular unboxing that we're doing today, yeah, I've had this figure for a year and some months now, so, Dang. you know, and I, you know, I was like, oh, I'll unbox it one of these days, uh, you know, I just kept putting it off, like, you know, yeah. I'm not with it, so, and I got a few figures like that, so, here we are today, brother. Hey man, I'll take it, man. Any time, any time. So don't talk about it, be about it. Let's let's see what's up. All right. So yeah. So today, um, got this figure. It's another big one, baby boy. It's a massive. You know, I like my massive unboxings. It is heavy. Look at that. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is big, though. Wow. Get a hit, man. So you know, it's a massive unboxing from. Um, you know, my EK, uh, Eric Hobbies. All right. Um, Castle Collectibles. And like I said, I had this figure for about a year and a half now, and perfect day to unbox it. So, right on, man. Here it is. I have my. <laughs> <laughs> I'm messing around with that little screwdriver. I don't even know where it is. <laughs> so, you know, I'm ready. I'm ready for you today, Jay. Ready today, man. So I'm gonna be gentle oh. though. Don't want to mess up the box inside. Right, right. right. Open this bad boy. Slice and dice it. That's right. Yeah, man. So collecting, man. Sideshow is trying to hit me up, man, like crazy. Well, what? What you got coming? Flex page, man. So I had to like the one thing I like how Sideshow is doing it now. You can like delay your, you know, instead of calling them, mm -hmm. you can delay and change your, you know, your flex pay dates. Oh, really? Yeah, and I had like a, uh, I had you know the new Superman Justice League coming. Yeah. Um, so I got like two more payments with that. Okay. I have uh, what else? Do you, my boy. Two royal guards from Star Wars. Mm -hmm. So I had to delay the payments on that. And uh, what else was coming? I think something else was coming. Oh, the Luke Skywalker, you know, the uh, Return of the Jedi when he was um, the indoor, I think, yeah. on the end, you know, with the poncho and everything. Yeah, yeah. So I um, had to delay that too. And I think the uh, Mark 45. The one that fits inside the Hulkbuster. I think that's the 45 or the 46. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah, because, um, again, man, I got shit coming from other places and everything. So I'm like, you know what? Thank God for them actually letting you delay, you know, your payments or whatever. So You know what's great? Oh. You know, two times. But go ahead. So, uh, what I saw recently uh, online, there's this company that's, like, sending out the figure, and then you could pay them later, which I think is crazy. But I haven't seen oh. that. Well, I, I, I'm part of this other company. It's like a finance company. It's called Klarna. And basically, what you can do is uh, you pay partial payment, and then you can pay the rest over like four or five payments or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, so and basically, um, that's what I've been doing with a lot of my figures, like, you know, and I have like a credit limit with them up to like two thousand. Okay. So, you know, I think the last couple figures I actually got with this uh, the 
this finance type company or whatever. So it was weird, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But uh, guys, here it is. I got to stand up for this big boy. Oh, wow. Let's stand up. This box down right here. But yeah, man. Um, so yeah, Sideshow uh, got that awesome thing going on. I like that. But I do have, I do have uh, something coming from them this week, tomorrow, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, I got a the, the war machine. I think the Mark IV war machine. Okay, I remember you talking about that one. Okay. Yeah, that's the one that was from. Uh, What's the name of the movie with Thanos? The last, the, the the first one. The Infinity War. Infinity War, yeah. So it's that version from Infinity War. Nice, nice. Is that coming <laughs> from Rody Headscope? Whoa. <laughs> What'd you say about the Rody Headscope? I said, does, does it come from Rody Headscope on that one? The same usual. Okay, they they need to update that, man. They are in the, the latest one, the okay. Martin, Iron Patriot version. Yeah. Bang, baby. Wow. There it is. All right. I know what family this is from. Yep. This is another one from uh, the uh, Three Kingdoms, Tiger Generals, and uh, it's a big ass box, my friend. So, <laughs> Bill, Bill unboxing. Got to cut through the tape right here. And you know what? I found that Star Wars figure I was telling you about. You did? The General, uh, what is his name? Connect? Yeah. You know, the one that sold out instantly on Sideshow within two days? Yeah, the real quick one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, from Rogue One. Yeah. I actually resorted to eBay. Oh, wow. Yeah, eBay is all right sometime, man. If you can get stuff before, like, it, like it's been sold out for a while, you know? Right, right. You can get it in time. You can save a good deal on it. That's true. If you wait too long, boy, it can be dangerous yeah. out there. All right, so we got our little protective flat. Nice. So we got another piece of foam right here. And here you go, right here. Oh, bang, baby! Oh, that's dope. I can tell already. Bang, baby. <laughs> nice. See that? Val Yoon. Man. Man. <laughs> Bang, baby. Oh, there's more? Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. Trusty. Trusty horse, man. Look at that. Wow. Yep, he's another Tiger General. Wow, that's dope. Yeah, boy. And this guy, he if you didn't pre-order him, you basically didn't get him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, cause he was not in the stores on the shelves at all. Like, that's crazy. I, pre I pre-ordered him, man. I was being wise with it because I seen how fast he was selling out in certain stores on pre-order. Yeah. And everybody didn't get him. Like, big, bad toy stores, they didn't get him. So... Huh. And so, yeah. and so, so how did you know to go for that one? So, do you just like so? Did you know about the character already, or or you just kind of felt like yeah. that's a cool design, or? Yeah, I mean, again, like you know that the, the you know our groups that we we are part of, like One Six Republic and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, a lot of companies they, I think them them groups they're the first sometimes to get their you know promotional. Pro prototype pictures and stuff like that. So, wow. And once I seen on there, I seen them and I'm like, oh man, I was just waiting for like the <laughs> store, you know, the stores that I use the uh, cop from. I was waiting to see who would have them in stock. Yeah. And Big Bad was like the one I usually go to, but they didn't get them. So, you know, and then I went to the other ones, the um, Castle Collectibles, and they had them in stock. Well, not in stock, but for pre order. Right. It took him like two years to come out, man, but he finally came out, you know? Wow. So, and today we get ready to unbox them. As you can see, I love when the companies put 
plastic. Yeah. The always a plus and always a welcome. You remember back in the day when uh, Hot Toys used to use tissue paper? Yeah, I do. Did Blade come <laughs> like that? Yeah, a, a few of them had the, had the tissue paper, and it was, it was such a hard time putting it back on when you wanted to pack it back up. So um, I remember when, when a lot of those 16 companies started using plastic like that, and I loved it. It was better, way better alternative to that tissue paper. Yeah. Yeah, because I know a lot of their DXs came with tissue paper, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes, like in the actual flaps, they did. Mm -hmm. Like there's a better look with the plastic off of the box. Wow. Great looking figure, man. Great man. looking figure, I must say. And man. you can see there's a little baby in his arms. Oh. There's, there's a story with that. So, Do tell. Yeah, well, the story is that uh, Zhao Yun actually uh, was a part of uh, his commander, Lu, Lu, uh, Lu Bai basically uh, fleed because he lost a battle mm. and he left his, he abandoned his wife and child. So wow. one of his, you know, his commanders, which was him, Zhao Yun, basically uh, rescued his wife and child and brought his wife and child to him. And, you know, he was appointed for that deed uh, general of the standard because oh, wow. of it. So, you know, he, he got high in rank because he rescued, you know, his commander's wife and child. That's powerful. Yep. So, bang, here he is. Another no feet. <laughs> yeah. That's clean. <laughs> no. Stop teasing. <laughs> Ain't nothing, nothing like that, that fresh plastic smell. Nothing like yeah. it. So I love the way that these, they, you know, they almost have like an anime look, but yeah. if you look at the old films, that's kind of how they look. Like, you know, with the bushy eyebrows right. and everything. And the so, beards. Yeah, the beards. But, you know, this guy got, you know, he kind of got an anime look almost, but that's how he looked in the, uh, the films. Just like the Guan Yu figure. Yeah. The long beard. He got the bushy eyebrows and you know, they kind of kind of represented that the same way. So here we have the figure right here. That detail is crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Wow. I love it. Yep. And then we have the, we got some shoulder pads in there. I think they have a clip on. Yeah, they got the little clips right there. Okay. Then we have the leg armor. Nice. Look at that deep, uh, I love the little material ruffles that they use. Right. It's pretty cool. You know, I think I showed you the detail up there. Look at that sculpting of the head right there, the dragon. That's sick. Yep. And some more armor pieces. Um, this is some type of garment right here. This looks like the loin armor garment. Nice. Then we have a uh, Look like a hair sculpting. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I was gonna ask you where his ponytail was. Okay. <laughs> yep, so that's that right there. We have a helmet. That's clean, man. Man. Yep. Wow. Pretty awesome. What else we got in here? Oh, and because it's the super set. We have a bonus in school. Oh, mouth open. Okay. Yep. Now this only came with the the super set, which is with the horse. Wow. So if you didn't get the horse, you didn't get this head scope. That's a good incentive, because you would want the horse anyway, so why not get that extra head scope, man? Exactly. Like, and you know, I'm made sure like I want that head scope, so I'm gonna buy the horse. Because I mean I guess sometimes, you know, some collectors might not want to spend that extra like hundred and fifty. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know, but hey, I wanted that head scope. Whenever they get extras to the figure, yeah, I'm all, I'm all especially if you were to buy another head scope, it'd be fifty bucks anyway, just for the head scope. So why not get the, you know, 
the rest of the cake. That's nice. Cake right Looks like a little weathered at the bottom. But it's nice. nice. Right. So what else is in here? All right, we got a whole bunch of other goodies at the bottom. We got the structure, structures right here. Then we got those feet. Right on. Got the feet we were looking for. We got the pole to the stair. We got a the plastic stair. All right. Nice. Stair. That's the actual blade to the that's clean the arm, arm sword spear. So we got his sword. Get that out. Everything is in good condition. Wow. Got a real chain on there? Yep. Dope. Detail, yes, man. I love their attention to detail. That's ridiculous. Yeah. We got the platform stand. Then we got an assortment of hands. Beautifully sculpted and painted, as usual, from the company. Pull all those out. And then we got the adorable little baby. Look at that. Look at that detail. Oh. <laughs> and see, this right here blows hot toys baby out of the water because I don't know if you noticed, they did a little baby Luke Skywalker that the uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi from uh, episode, I think episode three. Huh. And, and it was just, you know, don't get me wrong, it was sculpted, but the detailing wasn't there. Like this company right here, yeah. like they actually giving you a, a rat to keep the baby in with that material. You see that's, what I'm saying? Man, that's a good detail. Okay, now that you put it closer, okay, that's crazy. The, the, the baby Luke Skywalker, think the rat is sculpted on his body. Like, you know, like, Come yeah. on, you can't go some material to wrap the baby in. Like, you got to scope it. Like, yeah. I just don't see that they did that. So. They, they recently had an issue like that recently with some, some animal that came with a figure. I think it was, no, what it was is, um, I think it was the Captain Marvel figure, and they came with that cat. And yeah. the cat just like the deep, like, they, they could have blown out of the water. Like, it didn't have any whiskers. It just didn't look real. It's just like, how, how are you going to make this realistic head scope and then do a cat and then. It's just like whatever. Yeah, I know, right? That was that I seen that cat, and you know, uh, that's one thing about Hot Toys. Sometimes, you know, they they like to do detailed figures sometimes, but they forget about the accessories and the little extras that you know they could have did better on. I think so. Right. You know. But yeah, let me try to put these feet on real quick. So with those, those are not the metal bodies, right? No, this is just a standard. Standard body. So. That wasn't bad. That was pretty easy this time. Yeah, I heard some collectors like, oh, we can try to get the feet on. <laughs> they say <laughs> what? Uh, some collectors from uh, YouTube that has this figure already. Uh huh. And they commented and said, how did you get the feet on? And I said, I didn't yet because I didn't unbox it. And they're like, all right, wait till you get the feet. Wait till you try. It's going to be difficult. I said, we'll just use a hair dryer. Yeah. It's, they're like, I tried that. I'm like, but you see, I just got them on, though, like, without a hair dryer, so. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, this is him right here, man. This is our figure. Let's see if we can get the hair on. The hair scope. So why do you think they did a scope this time instead of, like, rooted hair? Um, I guess to... Like they, cause they do that sometimes. Like my other figure, mm -hmm. um, they they just do that. I guess to try to capture that, you know, that essence of the wild flow. You know, right, right, right. So, and I think with rooted hair, you can't do with so much. You know, and um, don't get me wrong, I'm sure there's some amazing customizers out there that can do something like this with real rooted hair. Right. But right. a lot of companies, for whatever reasons, they don't really like to explore the options of trying to do rooted hair in sculpted ways you know what i mean like because i've seen it done out there you know so maybe because they feel like after a while it'll fall apart whatever the case may be but you know i guess you know, 
I guess really if you just be one issue, one more issue you could possibly have with uh, quality control. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, this guy is, shoo, detailing is lovely, man. Like, the hair is articulated, the ruby hair, like, flows and turns whatever way you want. It's like a ball joint, actually. So then we have the wrap, which is pretty good. And Is that real material in the wrap? Yeah, for wire. Yeah. Nice. So, yeah, but this guy is lovely. I'm, I'm definitely loving him. Um, happy that I purchased him. Can I get a little bit more of a close-up of that? Yeah, let's see. Not, you know, not, not to mess you up, but just... Yeah, it seems like I can't get so much no, into no. the... No, don't trip. That's clear. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And then look at the, the actual feet. The scope thing of the feet is like crazy. Like That's sick. Wow. Wow. Yeah, man. It's like dragons on the feet. Yeah. You know, it's hard to see with the camera, but it's like dragging sculptings on the feet. Uh, you know, I love all the, like, the attention to detail, the sculpting dragon head right there. And, yeah. Man, let's see if I can put the armor on. Dude, you had me looking on um, Big Bad the other day, <laughs> trying to see if, they had any, see if they had any of those on stock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, which man, this is bad. With the Guan Yu or the uh, which which particular one you like? I think this is Warrior Dude. I can't remember the name, but like, so I was just kind of looking to see which oh, one. The was water the margin. The water margin. Okay, yeah. Talking about him, right? The guy, yeah. the big blue guy with the chair and everything. Yeah. Yeah, he's still actually on pre-order. Yeah. And I, I, weird because a lot of collectors are like, yeah, how'd you get that guy, man? Because it's like I've been trying to get him and. You know, and, and I'm, I guess, I think because I pre-ordered, like, when it first came out, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, that I was probably, they, I guess they do an in-line type system, like, who's, right. you know, first, who's first in line, because, you know, I had one guy message me, today I got mine from Big Bad, how did you get yours so fast? I was like, I got it from Big Bad, too, I guess, you know, because I pre-ordered first day it came out. So. Yeah, you probably got a few in the first wave, and it's like, okay, well, yep. on top of the, top of the list. <laughs> Yep, exactly. So, man, I'm sweating. You see this? <laughs> it's work doing all these unboxings. Man. Like a, like a, like a, a wild hog. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, it's yeah, a work. So, yeah, now we're going to do the, uh, the horse now. All right. And that's going to be interesting to see it because also like the last horse you had was like a brown. So this is like a lighter horse. So, you know, yeah, it could be like, you know, really could go up with the, the details and stuff like that and the shading and because usually those kind of horses got a little gray on them and stuff. So yeah, exactly. And the, surprisingly, this guy, I thought he was more white from pictures, but he's almost like a grayish, dirty white. Okay. So, but I guess when you take photos, it kind of gets a little brighter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, beautiful box of the horse. Nice. Okay. Wow. Dang, I, I was so happy to get this, you know what I mean? Because now, like on eBay, I see them selling all day for like $700, you know, $750, $800. Like, I think he retailed for like, I think I got him for like 400 Okay. You know, with shipping and everything, it was like three ninety five. Yeah. So and he's like kind of on the low compared to now, like you know, because they go up every year. So, mm -hmm. like the other ones that I got, like the Guan Yu, he I think he was every bit of like, you know, like four fifty something okay. like that. So. <laughs> it pays to go ahead and jump in on it if you if you're digging it. Yeah. Exactly. Another instructions. All right. So we have this flag. Nice. You know, it's articulated, it has the wire. I like that they add the wire in there. Yeah. The flag. All right. Here's the goodies. Here's the goody, goody, goody. Here's the oh, horse. Nice, nice. 
big bad boy out. It's the articulated horse, bro. And I think it's so cool, man. They didn't just have like the sculpt already on, you know, like the saddles and stuff sculpted on the horse already. I'm glad they didn't cheap out like that. I think it's really cool that you could have that. So say if they ever came out with the Lone Ranger figure, you would have that, uh, whoa, that's a tight face. You could use that horse for something else if you wanted to. So I, I think that's just, that's dope. Yeah. Basically, um, you know, a lot of collectors, they definitely probably see it like, oh, oh man, I can make that horse, that Wonder Woman horse right here. Right, exactly. <laughs> Here's the actual saddle with the extras and all the goodies. Man, that's a lot of stuff. Yeah, they pack it all in there. You see how it's all packed in there? Yeah. Look at that. Hold it. <laughs> So, but yeah, man, that's pretty much everything. Got a few little folds right here, just for the horse to be articulating on and put on the fold. Here's the actual. Man, we talk about bang for your buck, man. This this company is on point. Put a flag, and that's everything, my brother. Wow. We have done another unboxing, baby. <laughs> I can't wait to see the poses, man. I can't wait to see. <laughs> I, I know you're going to take it to the next level, man. I know, I know you're going to take it somewhere. Yes, sir. You know I am, sir. Yep. Yes, sir. Oh, but man. yeah, man. It's, it's all these goodies, man. All these goodies that you can see. Wow. All these goodies with the horse. And a lot of goodies going on right here, brother. That's crazy. That's crazy. All that stuff in those, and those boxes were big, but even that's impressive. Even from those two big boxes, that's crazy. Yep. Yep. So, mm. I have fun tonight. I'm probably going to be up for a few hours setting everything up, <laughs> take some pictures and everything. So, yep. Mm. Well, man, I appreciate you, man, taking some time out to, to do an unboxing with me, man. And, and you know, like I said, you you, you got me got me eye eyeballing on on um Big Bad man. I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to be good, but man, <laughs> You're crazy! They're coming out with one twelve figures of this same type of character. One twelve, one twelve scale. You know, that's mm -hmm. the new yeah, but seeing it like that, I don't know if I would go the other way. Like you know, like because it ain't but so much detail you can do in one twelve, right? Right, and then also it's just like I don't know, just that one six is just a sweet spot, you know, like, like, you know, can they do other figures and stuff like 14 inch and different stuff like that? But that one six is just the sweet spot, man. It's, it's not quite a toy, not quite a statue. It's just that, that little spot. Cause I even remember when, um, they were doing the one fourth scale, I think it is for the, um, like certain Marvel characters, like they had one fourth scale Batman or one fourth scale Joker. And I think Spider-Man and, I, I never, I never, I never, I never jumped. Me, me either. It was just like, it was like almost too big, even though it's more what you love. It was still, so that one six is just something about that. That's the sweet spot. Now I got some 112 figures too, but you know, they're cool, but you know, it's not the same for some reason. Certain sizes just kind of sticks with you. It's strong. Like, um, like the GI Joe, I think it was a six inch, maybe the old school GI Joe, something about that size. Something about the size of those Migos, I think we're maybe eight or something like that. But certain sizes almost look like magic and ideal for a figure. Anything a little too small or a little too big, it just kind of throw off the flow. So for me, I think the 112 would probably be dope just because they do dope work and stuff. But that presence of, of like that horse right there when you pulled out that warrior, something about that scale is just, you know. Like if that detail on 112, I, I don't see it. I'll, good luck. Good luck with the draping of the material. Good luck with the, nah. Yeah, I agree with you, man, all the way because, you know, um, 112 is just, you know, it's, you know, it's cool, you know, and it does cut down on like, you know, space, right. you know, but uh, it's something about the one, uh, one six. You know, and then and then people say, you know, well, one fourth you get a lot of more detail and much more, and I, and I I believe that, but I don't know. I just it's more money, 
you know, and I feel like I'm getting enough detail in one six scale, you know, and I just never jump ever. Me <laughs> you know, I don't own not one one four scale figure. And people be like, "Oh, I can't understand how you can't." Like, mm. I don't know. I just I'm I, good. I I didn't either, and I came close before when they had that um Batman back in the day, and I remember uh, Inner Bay had like a Joker, and then Hot Toys made a Joker. And all that was going back and forth. And I was trying to wait to see who would have the better body. And they had like the Terminator 2 Arnold from Inner Bay. It's just, it was just too much. And like I said, for some reason, it just didn't pop like that one six. So to each his own. But, you know, what's yeah, the best agree. spot? I, I agree, man. Um, I was ready to jump with that Batman myself. But, uh, yeah. All right. That's a spear. Man. <laughs> like I said, man. Mm. Ah, it's going to yeah. be tight. Yeah. yeah. That's the spear right there. And saddle with the horse. Man, that's crazy. Yeah, man. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Yep. Stay tuned, my brother. Well, as always, man, I appreciate your time and you sharing the unboxing with, with me and, and, and the community, man, for sure, man. I, I love your insight. I always like to hear the, the stories and stuff and your insight yeah. just in general on characters and stuff. So I, I really do appreciate it. Definitely, brother. Thank you for uh, sharing the experience with me. Oh, man, anytime, bro. Anytime. Yeah. All right, man. Well, till next time. Alrighty, brother. Peace. Peace.